Wait, can you tell that my hair is poofy? Because I couldn't get it to stick down. an amazing review on these two amazing pops all right these amazing Funko Pops it is from Disney the day of the dead Sally and Jack from the nightmare before Christmas oh yeah these look so cool just take a look at them look at how amazing they look and their boxes are so awesome too I'm so happy I did find these at Barnes & Noble, by the way. That's where I find a lot of my pops. A lot of them, besides Hot Topic, of course. Yeah, surprisingly, I didn't find these at Hot Topic, but I did find another really awesome one at Hot Topic that I'm not telling you guys about. Anyway, these are so cool. By the way, it is almost Halloween. And two, my mom really loves like sugar skulls, and they kind of look like them. like faces like have all the markings and stuff on them so I'm giving these to my mom once I'm done reviewing them and opening them up and all that stuff and these also make really good Halloween decorations so right after I give these to her I bet she's gonna like decorate her whole room with Day of the Dead stuff <laughs> anyway these are super duper cool uh, really quick here's the back these are the only two Day of the Deads anyway let's open these up Move you to the side. All right, let's set that there. Here is Sally. She looks pretty cool. I really like her. Of course, she is the normal Sally, except just with all those awesome like patterns on her face to make her look like a sugar skull. All right, let me open up Jack. It looks like he's glow in the dark, but I'm not sure if he is. See, like, kind of like has a greenish, like the glow in the dark greenish tint on him. So I thought that he, oh, my fingers hurt. Uh, I thought that he would be glow in the dark, but I'm not really sure. I don't think he is though, but I'll definitely try that out sometime soon, probably. Um, but he is pretty cool. All right, but let's start with Sally because she's awesome. <laughs> of course, she's got her normal red hair all over her and her, her normal little dress, which actually they did a pretty good job on her dress. The paint quality on her is pretty well done. She's got very big feet though. Very big feet. feet. <laughs> Look how long they are. But then she's got all these really awesome designs. And actually inside of her eye, it kind of looks like she has a flower. If you can tell, like the black dot, yeah. And then her eyelashes are like little X's, which are like little stitches for her eyelashes. That's cool. And she's got like some lipstick and hearts as well. She's cute, I like her and her head right on her, where her neck is, is articulated as well. She's cute, I like her. Seems like they finally started doing smiles on them. All right, and then here is Jack. Yeah, Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. I think they did a pretty good job on him as well. Like I said, he does look like he has like that, he looks like he's glow in the dark, but I'm not sure if he is or not. Um, but he does have like a ginormous spider right there on his forehead. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, he's also got like little flowers in his eyes and he also is smiling as well. I think they did a pretty good job on his coat and stuff like that, his outfit. They've got his little bat tie. I think they did a pretty good job on him as well. I think these both are really awesome figures. Me and my mom both are huge. Like we like sugar skulls and stuff like that. 
just because they look so cool. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be giving these to my mom. Because, like, once we came home with these and, like, showed them to her, she's like, oh, I want those. Like, literally, she's like, OMG, can I have those? No, he fell. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't break his skull. Oh, no. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this review, you guys. These are so awesome. Oh, my gosh. I really love them outside of the box. And their boxes are also pretty cool. Well, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye!